Hello students, my name is Professor Muhammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIEO level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture we finished exercise 14.2. And the topic of that exercise was derivatives of natural logarithm or derivative of ln x. Students, today we are going to start exercise 14.3. The topic of this exercise you can see on your screen derivatives of trigonometric functions. There are three formulae which you must remember which you must keep in your mind formula number one is derivative of sin x is cos x d by dx of sin x is cos x so when you differentiate sin x the answer is cos x and the derivative of cos x is minus sin x the third formula would be this one you can see derivative of tan x is sec square x the derivative of tangent function is sec square so if you remember these three formulae along with the product rule of derivative and the quotient rule of derivative then you can easily do all questions of exercise 14.3 So, in the light of this concept, let's start question number 1, exercise 14.3. Here we go. Question number 1, differentiate with respect to x, part a, 2 plus sin x. Derivative of 2, you know, constant derivative is 0. Derivative of sin x is cos x. 0 plus cos x is cos x. Final answer. Part B. 2 sin x plus 3 cos x 2 multiply by derivative of sin x is cos x 3 multiply by derivative of cos x is minus sin x so the answer is 3 sin x hope you understand this is final answer of part b part c 2 cos x minus tan x Derivative of cos is minus sign, therefore it is minus 2 sin x. And derivative of tan x is sec square x. So minus remains minus sec square x. Answer. Part C. Part D is 3 sin 2x. 3 students if derivative of sin x is cos x then derivative of sin x obviously cos 2x so sin 2x derivative is cos 2x but this time don't forget to find the derivative of angle because this time the angle is not x because the derivative of x is 1 but here 2x so we must find the derivative of 2x that is 2 so 2 multiplied by 6 cos 2x this is the final answer of part d part e 4 10 5x 4 so if 10x derivative is sec square x then 10 5x is sec square 
5 x but this time we must find the derivative of 5 x as well that is 5 so 5 4 za 20 sec square x answer of part e come to part f part f is 2 cos 3x minus sin 2x very easy 2 if cos x derivative is minus sin x then cos 3x derivative is minus sin 3x but multiply we find the derivative of 3x as well that is 3x derivative is 3 minus sin x derivative is cos 2x and the derivative of 2x is 2 so 2 3 is a minus 6 sin 3x and 2 into cos 2x is 2 cos 2x so final answer is minus 6 sin 3x minus 2 cos 2x move to part g part g is 10 3x plus 2 whatever we see after the trigonometric identity we must write the same derivative what i mean the derivative of 10 is sec square so sec square whatever the given that is 3x plus 2 you must write 3x plus 2 but don't forget to multiply by the derivative of 3x plus 2 so derivative of angle that is 3x plus 2 derivative is 3 so the answer is 3 sec square 3x plus 2 this is the answer of part G move to part H sin 2x plus pi by 3 so what is the derivative of sin that is cos 2x plus pi by 3 multiply by the derivative of angle angle is 2x plus pi by 3 so derivative of 2x is 2 and derivative of pi by 3 pi by 3 is constant the derivative is 0 so 2 cos 2x plus pi by 3 is our final answer 2 cos 2x plus pi by 3 move to last part i 2 cos 3x minus pi by 6 so 2 what is the derivative of cos minus sine minus sine 3x minus pi by 6 multiply by the derivative of angle that is the derivative of 3x minus pi by 6 derivative of 3x is 3 and derivative of pi by 6 is 0 therefore 3 into minus into 2 is minus 6 sine 3x minus pi by 6 this is the final answer of part i so hope you enjoy completely question number one all parts move to question number two
here we go question number two differentiate with respect to x so part a sin cube x apply the power rule that is 3 power right first subtract 1 from the power 3 minus 1 is 2 3 sin square x now the derivative of the function that is whatever you see under the power we see under the power is sin x therefore the derivative of sin x is cos x so final answer is 3 sin square x cos x final answer move to part b 5 cos square 3x 5 cos square 3x 2 cos 3x multiply by whatever you are seeing under the power cos 3x the derivative of cos 3x is minus sin 3x and we must multiply by the derivative of angle that is the derivative of 3x derivative of 3x is 3 so 3 to the 6 6 5 the 30 minus 30 cos 3x sin 3x minus 30 cos 3x sin 3x is the final answer of part b part c sin square x minus 2 cos x very easy question sin square x is derivative is 2 sin x and the derivative of sin x is cos x minus 2 cos x derivative is minus sin x therefore minus minus plus 2 sin x so 2 sin x cos x plus 2 sin x is our final answer of part c part d 3 minus cos x to the power 4 write the derivative of the power 4 3 minus cos x 4 minus 1 is 3 and the derivative of 3 minus cos x is 0 3 derivative is 0 and cos x derivative is minus sin x so minus minus plus sin x 4 into sin x is 4 sin x 3 minus cos x to the power 3 so 4 sin x 3 minus cos x to the power 3 is our final answer move to part e Part E is 2 sin cube 2x plus pi upon 6. Now write 2 and power right first 3 sin square 2x plus pi by 6. Now find the derivative of sin 2x plus pi by 6 that is cos 2x plus pi by 6. Now find the derivative of 2x plus pi by 6 that is 2 plus 0. Now 2 3 is a uh, 6 and 6 2 is a 12 sin square 2x plus pi by 6 cos 2x plus pi by 6 is our final answer of part E move to part F part F is 3 cos 4x plus 2 
टेन स्क्वायर टू एक्स माइनस फाइव बाय फोर थ्री कॉस फोर एक्स डेरिवेटिव इज फोर कॉस थ्री एक्स इन टू द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ कॉस एक्स दैट इज माइनस साइन एक्स प्लस टू टेन स्क्वायर टू एक्स माइनस फोर दैट इज टू टेन टू एक्स माइनस फाइव बाय फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाय द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ टेन टू एक्स माइनस फाइव बाय फोर दैट इज सेक स्क्वायर टू एक्स माइनस फाइव बाय फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाय द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ टू एक्स माइनस फाइव बाय फोर दैट इज टू माइनस जीरो ओके नाउ फोर थ्री जो ट्वेल्व माइनस फोर साइन एक्स कॉस क्यूब एक्स टू टू ज फोर फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू इज एट टेन टू एक्स माइनस फाइव बाय फोर सेक स्क्वायर टू एक्स माइनस फाइव बाय फोर This is our final answer. Hope you enjoy and understand this part. So students, this is our today's class where we did question number 1 and question number 2 of exercise 14.3. What next? remaining questions of exercise 14.3 question 3 question 4 5 6 all questions are very easy i will try to finish this exercise in next two lectures so if you like my videos if you think that my videos are helping you kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when i upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can good luck for next lecture